Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. It is currently 12.08 p.m. for me right now. Uh, and I work at 1 p.m., so it might be a shorter episode, as uh, I have to get ready fairly shortly. But I wanted to make sure I have a video for tonight, since I work until uh, 9 p.m., so I just got to make sure okay. that I don't miss out on some more Persona 5. And uh, on Friday, I'm off, so then I'll be able to record a bunch more. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, in the last episode, things and stuff happened. <laughs> uh, which is very descriptive. I think we climbed the booty town, and then uh, here we are. I don't know why I can go up there, though. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there is a thing I can climb. I see. Aha. Perfect. Just talk about luck. Physical ointment. All right. I'll take it. Is that it? Is that it? Yes, sir, re Bob. How about the other side? It's somewhere. No, this one doesn't have that. Okay. Time to climb Booty Mountain. <laughs> okay, we're in. Quiet down, you idiot. Oh, shit. It's Kamashita. No. And a ton of soldiers. How have you not com uh, captured the intruders yet? I apologize, my liege. Okay, let's go. I bet he never imagined we're in the same room as him. Come on, let's keep moving. Oh, I like how we're sneaking now. We're sneaky boys. Uh, Kamashi doesn't have a glow, so apparently he is a neutral mob. <laughs> a non-existent NPC. Of course, they're all red here, though. They're all scary boys. Now, if we go around, can we... Focus. Yes! <laughs> Perfect, okay. Oh, and this one is stealable, too. Perfect. Anything down here? Hey, what are you doing? We're gonna get caught if you go that way. Ah, oh, man. Hey. Uh-oh, I was trying to turn around, I swear. Boom, baby. It'd be interesting if you grab the wrong item, then like it would give you a slight security status thing. Whoa, this sturdy looking door is pretty promising. Let's head inside. Oh, what is this place? Holy shit. That treasure thing's gotta be in here. Hey, what is this? It's floating in the air. <laughs> That's the treasure. We finally found it. The cloudy thing? Just hold on a second. I was planning on telling you more once we made it this far. Simply finding the treasure isn't enough. We'll need to make it materialize before we can steal it. What do you mean? Desires have no physical form by nature. Hence, we'll first need to make the real person aware that their desires are in fact a treasure. Once they're conscious that their desires might be stolen, the treasure will finally show itself. But how do we do that? We warn them. Tell them, we are going to steal your heart. So we're gonna send a calling card? Oh, that's totally what a phantom thief would do! Once we do that, the treasure will appear for certain. Uh, I think. That again? Either way, sounds like it's worth giving it a shot. Our infiltration route is secure. All that's left now is to pump out a calling card in reality, then come back to take the treasure. This is it, huh? Man, it took so long just to get here. Come on, it's just a little more. Let's do this. Once we send out the calling card, there will be no turning back. Just let me know when you're ready. We'll head back to the hideout and send out that calling card. The infiltration route has been secured. All that remains is to send the calling card to Kamashita. Excellent. Now, is this going to pop us out immediately? Well, then. We've secured our route. So, what do we do now? 
Do you want to head out for the day? Uh, there's still things to do. Oh? I see, then let's keep exploring a bit. Alright. Good, at least we get the option. So, what do we do if we run into this? So if we examine it, there's a mysterious floating object here. Um... Focus. Make sure there's nothing we can just randomly steal. Yeah, at this point, you would probably just back out. <laughs> but, hey. oops. Don't want to get spotted there. Uh, but the idea is I wanted to spend the rest of my SP, if possible. Also, when did these three urns get here? Hmm. It'd be funny if one of them was a Mimic. Oh god, I hope Mimics are not a thing in this game. And don't, don't tell me, because I don't want to know. I'll reveal your true form. All right, let's get some extra EXP before we move on. All right, the first move is ours. It's almost scary how good I am. Ton pass. I almost feel like all the red guys right now is this pack of dudes. All right, time for some I'm not sure what item they drop. Like, I'm not sure if it's worth going for the steel item right now, because I think we just want the EXP. Oh, nice, we got another tin class. That's a big win. Like, unless the item's like a revival powder or something, then maybe it'll be good. Um, all right. Arson is super low level right now, so we're just gonna drop ourselves on Arson, because he's gonna level up once we kill a single dude. Uh, meanwhile, Saki Mitami is just hanging out, leveling with growth. 70 EXP to go, just coasting along, right in the coattails of our main main dudes. Barith is easily our weakest dude. Although he does nullify bullets, which is actually pretty dope, so maybe not that weak, but he's definitely a very tanky boy with nothing going for him. But the Hierophant, again, is just all we want. Uh, and then Death and Justice. I think we just have these for, the sh for shits and giggles at this point. But the most important is the chariot, the lovers, the fool, and the hero font. And then, oh, and the death, actually. I take it back. Because death is what we need for what's her face. I totally forgot about that. I have something. Uh, for the for the doctor, El Doctor. Which is super important. <sighs> Let's also hopefully not die and doing all this stuff. I'll reveal your true you? form. I'll reveal your true form. Yeah, weird. It's like always the same group of dudes. Joker obviously has it, but we're just gonna spend more Ryuji's points here. Uh, yeah. Persona! I like how you can hit the button before you actually get the choices. Like, we're obviously not powerful enough to just rush the battle, which is to just have an auto battle for us with the uh, auto attack. There we go. Increases critical rate when surrounded. Not particularly that useful, but there you go. Arsene, arguably the coolest early game looking persona, but unfortunately completely useless for us. All right. There you go, guys, extra level. Such a good boy, pet pet. Uh, let's see. You want to level anything else right now? Or you want to keep going all in on slime? You can level Saki. Saki Saki. Everyone's just at the same level because we got them all and never touched them. Alright, let's, uh, let's get Saki up one level. Ah, damn it. I forgot about this. Wait, can we actually... I can see it. Oh... Interesting. Treasure chest. Oh my That's god. Okay. Mad lad. Totally forgot about this treasure chest. There we go. It's right. somewhere. Is there no way back around though? Nope. You have to go all the way around. Okay. Let's see how it is, game. I appreciate the sound effect though. I wouldn't have known there was a thing there without the sound effect. I wasn't particularly looking for anything. Oh god! 
That made it sound like I was gonna get crushed. Oh God, here we go, here we go. I'll reveal your true you? form. Yeah, that's hilarious. So as long as we have just a little bit of SP, we're good to go for all out attacks. Oh, I guess Arson has his weakness too. Again, level 14, just too high level for us to take over, so. What? This bastard's still alive. Hold on. All right, him in the nuts. That's weird. Did we just roll low on the hit? Yeah, level 12. It sure is a step forward. Okay. That's all it takes for me. Da -da -da -da. Now normally I would go somewhere and farm on my own time, but the issue is I don't have own, my own time right now. Let's try this uh, savage Whoa. boy. There's a show me your true form. This is gonna hurt. Now's our chance to strike. It's impervious to gunfire! Weak to ice. But we don't have it. Um, hit him in the face. It's time. Go down! Hell yeah. We're all locked down! That was incredible, Joker! Let's go! Okay, guys. Cause the enemy to forget. Uh, I don't think we need to silence him. Oh, good. Nice crit, dude. And again. That was really lucky. Because I'm pretty sure a single hit from a savage boy is going to just kill us. Straight up. We took them all out. We did it. Nice. More sooty heavy armor. Oh my god, everyone. Everyone's getting levels on their dudes. Alright, Morgana level 12. What's her face level 10? We did it. On. That's her name. Awesome. Raku Kaja. Increases defense for one ally for three turns. Pretty awesome. Alright. Very nice. That's all it takes for me. I like it a lot. It's somewhere. Now, the thing is, we probably want to come back here in the future. My Apparently, after a few days, form. the dungeon itself respawns uh, a hefty chunk of its treasure chest. And then after you send in your calling card, it also... Also, also... Uh, respawns all its chests as well and all of its um maybe not all its chests but all its stealables all its treasures right those things that we're taking from urns and whatnot um this is what a lot of people are saying in their forms so that to me sounds important get him boys we need the xp <laughs> we just need the xp man it's hard difficulty Give me. Okay. So I might, I might Easy forfeit win. this day they were and have us progress for a bit. But I'm not too sure. Just because we can just farm like mad lads in, a, in another round anyway. Show me your true form. All right, let me see. Is this guy also going to be the the two justice ladies? Yep. Okay, these are the only red spawns that exist. I just find that so funny. My turn. Yeah, we're running out of uh, Zeo juice, though. Let's go, Captain. You did it, Scott. Captain Kid. I wonder if it's because he wasn't the primary target. We're about to find out here. Oh no, we got him. That's all she wrote. So yeah, we must have rolled low by last time. Damn, man, we're getting good money. And the thing right. that we're gonna sell all these treasures too, by the That's way. That's all it takes for me. In fact, 
can we uh, gauge just how much money we have through the treasures at all? There's no way to like check how much they're worth, eh? But look at them all. Look at them all! There's so many treasures! Not to mention all these tools and materials that we got. We got 29 silk yard, 45 plant bobs. Um, interesting. Eight tin clasps, and we needed what? Two lockpicks? Two lockpicks? I should write this stuff down. Pretty sure it's two lockpicks. I think also when you do the calling card, the security goes up to like 100%. I have something. Like Bob. Hey, who are you? Security goes up by 100%, but uh, we can still lower it, I think, back down. Oh god, this guy. Um, I think we want to just kill this guy. Will you counter that? Eyes rage, ambushed by the enemy. Ow, okay. I was curious to see if the guns would do that. Alright, now we can just burn him, though. Oh, that doesn't kill them! Uh-oh. I just realized that her weapon isn't single target. Oh my god. <laughs> I had no idea. Okay. No wonder her weapon has so much AoE. Uh, or so, so much AoE. So much ammo. My brain doesn't work today. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. We have, uh, we have a character with lightning, though, right? Oh, we don't! Oh, no! I think we used to have a lightning character. No, we do! We have, uh, Slime Boy. Alright, Slime Boy. Slime Boy is best boy. Because he's gonna be the new... Actually, wait, Joker and Ryuji are kind of out of mana. They are oom. Um, unfortunate. Yeah, I think we should back out. Okay, let's take a break. Let's uh, let's talk to the boys and girl. Well, what are you gonna do, Joker? Let's talk to the team. How's our progress? Hey, we already got the route set. Why don't we just send the calling card out already? That's a valid concern. But this palace will disappear if we steal the treasure. Joker probably wants to take all we can before that happens. I mean, we are phantom thieves. Yeah. Make sure you don't have any regrets, Joker. I'll follow your lead. What are your thoughts? Is there anything else you want to discuss? Um... How's everyone feeling? <sighs> Joker, you look tired. Is everything all right? Everyone's on low fuel. Just don't push them too hard, okay? Hey. We've got 14 days left. There's still a lot of time to spare until the deadline. Let's not push ourselves too hard. What are your thoughts? All right, so hit continue exploring. Let's go. Let's save it here. And we'll save it with this one. Or actually, you know what? We'll go back a little bit. This is where we started. This will be where we drop off. This is where we leave the, the dungeon here. So day one start, and we ended up getting two levels. <laughs> Only two levels, but you do get level kind of slow when you're already over-leveled for the dungeon, which is perfect. Yeah. We are all set to go. And then uh, we'll back out, and then I think we'll come back in a few days when we have our lockpicks. Do another normal run through the dungeon. Uh, and steal literally everything. Try and get as much money as humanly possible. Uh, and then we'll do the calling card, and then come right back. And that way we'll pretty much have everything we need. Now, if it starts raining, we'll probably study instead of go into the dungeon or something like that. But the the idea is we'll come back in three or four days. In game, obviously. Uh, so yeah. I can feel it. I can feel it. So can we? Let's see. Let's see map button here. Throne room. Do we have to go? Do we have to exit through the glowy thing, nice. or can we just leave? I think we can just leave, right? Luckily, we have it saved, so if we mess up, we can always do that. 
Oh, let's go save our dudes, by the way. Do you need something? Make sure they're prepped. Listen up, inmate! Um, uh, what? We are introducing a new regimen to your rehabilitation in the form of challenge battles. For these trials, we will permit the cognitions of your comrades to fight at your side. <laughs> Cry your tears of joy! Depending on your results in combat, you will receive some form of compensation for your efforts. Should you prove successful, there is no doubt that you will be rewarded and strengthened in body and mind. We've even prepared a special stage for you to undergo this part of your rehabilitation. Take this opportunity to demonstrate the furthest reaches of the strength you've gained up to now. Should you wish to attempt this at once, we shall oblige you. Interesting. I don't remember challenge battles being a thing. You can now access challenge battle by speaking to the wardens in the Velvet Room. In a challenge battle, you fight foes with your current party and aim for a high score by dealing as much damage as possible. You will receive a reward from the wardens based on your score. After the battle, your HP and SP will be restored to their previous levels, <laughs> so they won't be recovered entirely. However, items consumed won't be returned. And if you're defeated, the game won't end. Okay. Interesting. You certainly seem composed. Alright. Let's, uh, register our Justine, current personas. you handle this. Registration? Are you nice. sure? Uh, yes, I am sure. Go ahead. There we go. So all those personas have been saved. These are the paths you have walked. Like, where is it? Uh... Yeah, all the all the personas that we've gained so far, we can always just resummon later, which is super cool. A little bit different than Pokemon, obviously, where Pokemon you just put them in your pocket and then you pull out the party that you want. But this system is relatively similar. Slightly more expensive though. <laughs> uh, but I like it. I like it. Definitely, we have to make sure we keep personas though of the names or of the of the what does it call it? The emotions or persona of our allies or confidants just as we level up our friendships with them. So yeah, I think we're good. Uh, I want to go back. No slacking off. We'll do those challenge runs later. I feel like that could take a while. All right. What do you want to do? We've secured our route to the treasure. Do you want to get out of here? Yeah, let's return to the real world. All right. Okay, all we gotta do now is steal the treasure that shows up, yeah? It's finally time. But we need to send the calling card first. When should we do it? Just hold on. Let's retreat for now, then we can talk about that uh, later. Well done. Oh, and well done today. Literal god. <laughs> hey, what did we do today in our infiltration log? Everything. Literally 100%. Infiltration log. When leaving a palace, your progress will be shown in the infiltration log. Your teammates will also comment on how far you have left to go. Yes! We finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. Hell yeah. Hey, you better not be up to any trouble. You make just one mistake and your life's over. Instead of hanging around here, you should be studying or something. If there aren't any customers, you can use the shop. Is anywhere fine? <clears throat> uh, within reason, obviously. Don't touch anything in the kitchen. If you're gonna study, you can use that table. Just don't leave the place covered in eraser crumbs, all right? Oh, that's right. One of my customers mentioned that the counter's a pretty comfortable place to read. Well, your time's yours to spend. Just make sure it's after my customers are gone. Oh, hey. If you want to clean the shop, I'm not going to turn you down. The cleaning stuff's in the bathroom. 
spending time at LeBlanc's. In the evening, you will be able to engage in variety of activities that will help you in your daily life. You can study and improve your knowledge at the table, and at the counter, you can read and learn about various topics using the cleaning tools in the restroom will improve your kindness. If you spot a crossword puzzle on the table at the far end, give it a try. If you successfully solve the puzzle, you will improve your knowledge without time passing. Cool. Are you back home yet? I'm pooped. Hit me like a goddamn ton of bricks right when I sat down. Well, I guess we did walk pretty far in. I'm glad we found that treasure thing, though. So, Kamashita will turn into a good guy if we steal that, huh? Either way, it's up to you uh, when we send the card, Akabane. Call us over to the hideout when you're ready. Nice work, guys. See ya. The real challenge is coming up. I hope you're ready. The boss fight is coming up. All right, any crosswords? Nope. Hmm? If you're going to study, you can use the boot. Just remember to clean it up afterwards, okay? How about the uh, news reports? And now, politics. The Minister of Transport has made his first public appearance since the tragic train accident. He refused to respond to claims that he had ignored safety risks that may have led to the accident. Hmm. He ignored it, even though he knew about it? That sounds pretty serious. Hmm. Aw, yeah. Hmm. There's a bunch of ingredients in here. Oh, can you use all of this stuff to make curry? You sure can, little guy. So this is used for brewing coffee, eh? It looks like it's been used quite a lot. I want to try coffee siphons. Placed magazine. Mm. Crossword puzzles, eh? I suppose they're a good way to challenge your mind. When you solve a crossword puzzle, your knowledge will increase. Try to find the answers that match uh, both the hint and number of spaces. Hey, hey! Are you gonna play crossword puzzles? You have other stuff to do, so don't get into uh, don't get too into it. Uh, I want to say not right now. I'll just. I want to save it. And guys, we're gonna wrap it up right here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful time watching this playthrough. And the next one, I'll actually have time to uh, delve into some more of the cool stuff. And don't worry, we'll be able to um, do that challenge run. Uh, there'll be a gate that pops up for us uh, on the next day, uh, so we can access all of our personas and mess around with that stuff uh, in the middle of the daytime, or like not the palace area. It's awesome. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.